If there's one thing I want you to take away from today's video, it's this, that there is magic in almost any music we listen to. It's just up to us to be open enough to receive it. Hi, in today's video, I want to share with you an incredible mind-blowing harmonic gem that I came across in a couple of Stevie Wonder tunes. This one here. As well, I will show you how you can use Stevie's harmonic idea in your own improvisations to create lines like this. Let's get started. Stevie Wonder Harmonic Example 1. The song is Make Sure You Are Sure from Jungle Fever in the key of C sharp minor. The gem occurs on the last bar of the intro over the 5 7 chord, G sharp 7. Let's hear that on the keyboard. E and D major triads over G sharp 7. So these two major triads are built on the sharpened fourth and the augmented fifth degree of the G7 altered scale. The E triad highlights the sharpened ninth, the root, and the sharpened fifth of the G sharp seventh. And the D triad highlights the flattened ninth, the minor seventh, and the flattened fifth of the G sharp seventh. Here are those triads interposed on the saxophone. Another tune where Stevie uses this exact harmonic device over a dominant chord is Do I Do in B major. Here again over the 5-7 chord, Stevie uses the same major triads built on the augmented 5th and the sharpened 4th degree. So on F sharp 7, the triad built on the augmented 5th is D, which highlights the augmented 5th, the root and the sharpened 9th and the triad built on the sharpened 4th degree is C, which highlights the flattened 5th, the flattened 7th, and the flattened ninth. Here are those two triads interposed on the sax. But how do we use these triads in our improvisations? Actually, it is quite straightforward and easy if you are prepared to put in the practice. You just need to learn to trace lines that feature these triads over dominant chords. I have prepared some exercises that feature these triad pairs over three different harmonies. The first one I call Lush Life, as the chords are reminiscent of the titanic Lush Life by Billy Strayhorn. F major 7 to C7 altered. Over the F major 7, I will play two triad pairs, G major and A minor, as I like the Lydian sound they trace. And over the C7 altered, I will play G flat and A flat major triads, the major triads built on the flattened fifth and the sharpened fifth degree of the C7 altered scale. What follows are some exercises I've written that trace the aforementioned triad pairs. The shapes come from the thesaurus of triad pairs. Here is something I improvised using these exact triad pairs. It 
Example 2. The chord progression that we will now practice on is as follows. D minor 7, G7 altered, C major 7, A7 altered. In C, these chords are 2 minor 7, 5 7 altered, 1 major 7 to 6 7 altered. Here are the triads we will experiment with in this class. Over the D minor 7, we will play F and G triads, as this gives us a strong, muscular, inside Dorian sound. Over the G7 altered chord, we will superimpose D flat major and E flat major triads. The triads built on the sharpened fourth and the sharpened fifth of the G7 altered scale. Over the C major 7 chord, we'll play E minor and D major triads, again evoking a bright Lydian sound feeling. And over A7 altered, we will play E flat and F major triads. These are the triads built on the sharpened fourth and the sharpened fifth degree of the A7 altered scale. What follows are some exercises I have prepared that trace the aforementioned triad pairs. Please remember there are many other combinations to discover that work apart from the ones here. It is all down to personal taste. Here is something I improvised using these exact tried pairs. Work in progress, of course. Example 3. Steps Ahead Pools. This is the progression of chords that is heard in the solo section of Pools, written by the great maestro Don Grolnik. Over the G minor 7, we will play B flat and C major triads. Over the D7 altered, we will play A flat and B flat triads. Over the F minor 7, we will play A flat major and B flat major triads. And over the C7 altered, we will play G flat and A flat major triads. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the video, as this encourages me to make more content. I leave you with an improvisation over these steps ahead chords using the exact tried pairs we saw. Mm -hmm.